Mate, you and I, we need a training montage. We really do. You need better equipment. I do. I need better equipment. We need a training montage, mate. That's what we need. But I don't think we're gonna get one anytime soon. But, my dear friends, my dear viewers, welcome back to the channel. And today we are back in Kingdom Come Deliverance in a mini spin off segment I will call Henry's Misadventures. Now, this, I will aim for them to be smaller episodes. I say aim, I can't know if I will fulfill that promise. I will try to it though. Around 15 to 20 minutes each and we'll see. Today we are going to finish up with our trading. We are going to sell the weapons we have and I see, I'll see what else I'll do after it. But for now we'll have to visit the blacksmith. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Does Pebble have any more? Okay. Pebbles does have a lot more weapons. Alright. We have a singer here. Oh, okay. They are all 100% because I... Okay. My breath is... Jesus Christ be praised. Okay, Mr. Blacksmith. Yeah, I'm not gonna engage on that just yet. I will sell everything I have. Yeah, even the shield. Not the dagger, because I do need the dagger. And the woodcutter's axe. I'll even sell this bow, so yeah. Okay. So I can't sell anything else to you. I can, but... Okay, I will sell these potions and yeah, I will just, I'll keep this one, I'll keep this one, okay, I can keep this one, I'll keep the saviors of course, and I'll keep the, the wine stuff, okay, I will sell these just because I don't want them in my inventory anymore, and I don't, I don't know if they have any more Okay, use besides this. I'll go see if you have any books or anything with you that I can buy. Okay, so maybe I won't sell the, the chalices. <laughs> maybe I won't sell the chalices, okay. I'll find another way to just... Okay, can't I haggle? Wait, what? Okay, I, I wasn't able to haggle. Never mind. Um, hmm. I guess we can do the mission because I remember that this was the. Say so you're the best blacksmith in the whole region. That metal you've tempered never breaks. Ha! Ah, nothing but old wives' tales. Of course, some of my pieces are broken, but only ever here at the smithy. No one's ever returned anything for you to rework, though, have they? Not that I recall, but I can't remember everything. <laughs> okay. Father was a blacksmith all my life. He always stoked up the furnace till it roared gently, and you could smell the heated iron. Then he plunged it into the water, and that was that. <sighs> Fine words, and no mistake. I do it a little differently. I heat until the metal is two, three shades short of bright yellow. I ease up on the bellows, and after a Lord's Prayer and a hail, <laughs> it goes into the water. Okay. It's, um, it's strange to think that I'll never help him out with it again. Our forge will stay burned out forever unless I go back to the trade myself. It would be a shame not to, lad. Working iron is a worthwhile thing. Godly. It makes life easier for folk. And, let's be honest, you can make a decent living doing it. All right. But is that all? There's nothing else you do with it? Well, that depends. 
I heat it up again after that, but not so it starts to glow. I just hold it like this at the edge of the furnace for a while, and then quench it again. You quench twice. Yes. Although there's less quenching needed the second time, it doesn't get quite so hot. And how does that help? I don't rightly know. I found out about it by chance. I got caught short, needed to piss so bad, I left the rod resting by the furnace by mistake. That's how I found out if you quench twice, it doesn't break as easily. I have no idea why, but I've tried it enough times to know it works. Okay, that's interesting. I've heard it said that you're a warlock. What? Why the fuck would they say that? They say when you temper steel, you chant spells. <laughs> it's just a prayer words. anyway. <laughs> spells? <laughs> That's a good one. It's no spell. Just a rhyme to tie myself so I don't hold the steel hair too long. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'd like to ask you about the tempering process. Okay, do we have anything else? I have nothing much to tell you. You just need an eye for it and a furnace. Let's stop talking about tempering. <laughs> okay then. Thank you. This was interesting. This was an interesting subject. This is an. Inter this is a side mission, by the way. Tricks of the trade. And yeah, like the the blacksmith in Ladechko talked to me, and he said that the Sasao blacksmith. Like used spells while tempering the while working on the forge. Weapons mint, huh? And that he was using spells for some reason. But yeah, of course he wasn't. Alright. That is a mighty That's a mighty fine horde you have here. I can eat from the pot. Swordsmith, Swordsmith's wife, Katra. That's a long name you have, lady. I don't know. What do you have? Ooh. Weapons, assassin. No, I'm kind. I'm quite content with the sword I have. All right. You don't have any armor. Ooh, sharp as a knife. A book on maintenance can only be read. Oh my, but it does cost a fortune. No, thank you. Ah, speaking of books, I do think I have the just the right thing for us to do now. And it involves a certain scribe. Alright, let's let's get there. Let's get there and let's talk with the man. Ooh, Scalid's Priest! Oh, hello. I never saw you there. Alright, so at least one person from Scalid's made it to Sasau. That's interesting. Gambler, okay. Wasn't one of our friends in Sasau? I think I remember Teresa saying so. But I don't remember who was it or if he even is here. Ah, uh, here we go, flower picking again. I need to go back to alchemy. I really enjoyed the alchemy minigame. So I, I, sh I should go back to it sometime soon. But now I am going to look for the scribe. This is it. Hello. Oh, you're the bailiff. You are the scribe, okay. Good day to you. What do you need? Alright. Let's talk straight. Hmm. Okay, so you have books, and they are all just... Story books, no skill books. Some of them I already read. Okay, let me just... See, just out of curiosity... How much will it cost me? Oh god! No, yeah, no. Yes, I do want to exit the shop. <laughs> I'm not about to... to pay all that for books. Okay, any word? Okay, nothing then. Alright. 
Okay, this chest is not openable. Neither is this one. Okay, this is a very easy lock. Okay, can I just take this for real? Have I read this once? Apparently I have. Okay, I can just take it. Okay, I'll read it later, not now. I'll read it in between sessions, so as not to bother you with it. Okay. Alright, I'm in, and it doesn't say that I'm trespassing, just... Okay, let's just... Ooh! Mine. Okay, this is a very hard lockpick. Close the door. And let's... Yeah, you must have imagined it. There's no way someone just climbed onto your top floor and is somehow robbing you blind. Aha! Alright. I must have read this one already, but I'm gonna have it... I'm gonna get it anyway. Okay, there's a bed here. Okay, I can... Open this up. Probably more chalices, though. <laughs> Which I will happily take. No problem whatsoever. Alright. Now, this is what I truly love to do in, in, in games such as this. Like, there's no other way around it. I'm, I'm gonna take these. And wait for them to cool down so I can then and before moving along I will just send everything to pebbles not that it matters because well even if I'm search even if I'm searched pebbles can still pebbles will still be searched as well so no matter if I'm caught in a search, Pebbles will also be searched. So, but it's just to save me some inventory space. Hmm. Okay, so now I need a dash of wine. Just so I... Okay, I am drunk. Slightly. Okay, I keep hearing the wood cracking and it makes me feel like there's... Ah, th this is the merchant chest. Alright. So, I'm just gonna take everything with a star. Alright. Okay. I should drop a save, just in case. Just in case I... Just in case I... Just in case I get caught. I have too much loot to just go back now. Okay, nothing worth it here. And what about in this one? All right. Uh, there's a few clothes, but nothing really worth it. Hmm. A red hood. Yeah, no, no, nothing really worth it. So let's move down. See what's down here. Just food here. I don't want food. Okay, this is probably the door to the front entrance. Aha! 
Yes, and this is the back entrance. Alright, so close it. And let's go ham. This is another big chest. There has to be some good loot here. Oh, no, not, not really. This is probably Northern Merchant's chest. Yeah, probably the food vendor outside. Alright. Yeah, just the food vendor outside. I'll take the spirits. And I guess I'll go. There's nothing else of interest here, so I think I'll just go. Just open the door and leave. Simple as that. Thank you for your patronage. And with that, I will fulfill what I said I was going to do. And I'll end this episode here. I said that... What's happening? Oh, it's because of I'm drunk. Okay. I said I was I would try to do these videos a bit smaller than I than I normally do, so I will do it. And I will finish it right here. This was the first of Henry's misadventures. And we just did some questing for the blacksmith and we just robbed the scribe blind. Now, my dear friends, my dear viewers, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider leaving a like and a comment down below and if you'd be so kind to go the extra mile subscribe to the channel for more i will see you next time with another episode of henry's misadventures i'll see you then bye bye